Hi folks, Handyman Dan here, and we are working on an indoor project today. We've got some basement lighting that we're going to replace. We currently have the fluorescent lighting. We're going to replace those with LEDs. As you can see here, um, the old technology is these fluorescent bulbs. Um, we have these throughout the room, and uh, these set in these 2x2 two two, uh, ceiling panels. Um, lighting's just not very good, and uh, it's uh, used a lot of electric, so we're going to go to something different here. Um, what I wanted to show you here is the what we purchased. Um, this is a 12-pack of 6-inch LED lights, and um, we uh, um, have all the different parts here that you need. Um, first of all, the, the light comes in two pieces. Um, this is the LED itself, and you can see it's got the clamps on it, which which goes up into the ceiling and the ceiling tiles. So what you do is you, you uh, draw out a... Uh, cut out a six inch hole you put that up in it the other piece of the unit is the uh, is what used to be a ballast but it's a it's a dimmable LED driver um, and this here is um, adjustable um, with Kelvin so you have five different settings here the Kelvin is the is the brightness of the of the light okay so you can go from 2700 all the way up to 5000 so you go from a warm white to a very bright daylight type of look to it. Um, so first of all, I wanted to just show you all the things that you're gonna need here. Um, it's likely that you're gonna need some wire. Um, the copper wire is pretty expensive these days, but this is a, a 14 gauge, um, two, two wire, but it also has a ground in it, so it's really three wire. Um, that's a 50 foot piece. Um, these are the connectors, um, the collars that go into here. You When you pop these holes out, you put this in here and the wire goes through that. Um, you might want to have some wire nuts handy. Um, these, um, in case you need to connect the wires together. And then if you want to dim them, this is a dimming switch. Fits into your existing switch socket. And on the side here, it has a, a slider um, that you can uh, uh, adjust the, the brightness of the, uh, of the light. So, so this is a set here. It's a rel relatively inexpensive job. Um, you want to try to preserve your tiles as much as you can and your ceiling because those are very expensive. Um, but we're going to show you how you do this and uh, put in, uh, we're going to put in about 12 lights in this basement. Hey folks, we're uh, getting ready to cut a hole in one of the tiles here. Um, this is a ceiling tile. It comes with a uh, six inch round pattern. Um, so they make it real easy for you. Um, so you put that right in the middle of your tile. Just uh, place it in there and then just trace right around it with the pencil real easily and now you have where you need to cut okay you want to exercise safety here um, always use uh, especially when you're cutting these kind of tiles always use a, um, a little mask um, what we have here is the Milwaukee uh, jigsaw um, this makes it very easy to cut these holes in it here I'm going to do it very quickly here for you uh, cut this cut this right out with this with this saw and we'll be ready to go What you want to do is just poke a hole through it with the, with the saw Get it started and then Cut right around the pattern And there you have it. Just blow this off here, or, uh, and then what you'll do is you'll just set your, your piece right down in here, and you'll be ready to go. And uh, the box unit, um, this is the, uh, the LED driver. Um, first thing you wanna do is put one of these collars in here, and these are really simple to install. Um, these just kinda help protect the wire from any rubbing or cutting. Um, so you just uh, screw this in here very easily. Um, so it looks like that. What you have is you have three fire wires here. You have a black, you have a, a white and a black and a green. And so uh, the, the, <coughs> the white will be your common and your black be your lead and then uh, this will be your ground. Um, so here's the three wires that are coming out of the ceiling. We're gonna very easily put this through here. Um, make sure that you have your power off and your breaker off, your switch off or whatever. 
These are really easy to connect. They make this really easy on this particular uh, installation. Um, these, these wires here, you just push them right in and it's there to stay. Um, here's another one. You just uh, push it right in here and it just kind of grips on it and keeps it in there for you. And here's the other one. So uh, this would be the white. So those all go together. Just fold them up here neatly, put them inside the box, close it up and you're done. This connector will connect into the uh, ceiling tile with the, uh, with the light on it. Um, we have that right down here. Um, we'll just, uh, we, this is where we cut it out. We've installed it in the back here. And uh, we'll just take this wire and connect it into here and uh, put the ceiling tile back up and we'll be all set. I wanted to show you a little trick here. We're trying to determine where to place our our LED lights. Um, so we want like even placement across the ceiling. You can see that we've already got two in the hallway there. So we want to keep these kind of equal distance around uh, apart from each other. Um, so what we've done is we've used these plastic bags that the uh, that the lights came in and just hung them from the ceiling where the the new light is going to be installed. We've taken out one of the fluorescents. And uh, we've hung these bags across so you can see where the placement of lights are going to be. Okay, folks, we're getting ready to install the dimmers here. Um, this is really a nice unit because it has a dimming switch right on the side here. It fits into the existing plate. <clears throat> so you can just uh, put it right through there like that. Put it right on the wall. So what we're going to do here is we're going to remove the uh, existing switch. And it's really easy to do. We've taken... Uh, we've uh, turned off the, the circuit breaker so that we don't have any power coming here and uh, we're just going to take these and, and unhook them <clears throat> and then we're going to take the new one and we just screw it on here on these two poles and then we'll be ready to go here and, and we'll have uh, new switches installed put the plate back on the front. We've completed the project here we've installed 12 new LED lights to repl replace the, uh, the fluorescent ones um, you can see that the, the light shines really nicely down here. It floods out the whole room, spreads a lot nice, nicer than the fluorescence, and it um, uses less electricity, and um, you have the option of changing. We have these set on 3,000 Kelvin, so you have an option of changing these, changing the intensity of the light, making it cool, making it warm, whatever you want. We've also added the, uh, the dimmer switch, so we can bring these down and dim these down on, on each side. We've put two zones in here. So if you're watching TV, maybe on this side um, and setting on this side, you can have the lights off over here and have the ones on over there. So anyhow, it's a really good solution. Um, again, if you like what you see here, um, please join my, um, subscribe to my channel. It's Handyman Dan, do it yourself, quick and easy projects.